Greetings, fellow Fallout 4 aficionados. Got another Wicked Tips and Tricks video for you today. How to get your hands on the Cryolator early in the game, totally fairly without using any exploits. As most of you have played even a couple of hours of the game know, you're teased with this amazing chronic weapon right out of the gate, but you can't open the case without spending a lot of ranks on the locksmith perk. Don't think I can pick this. In fact, I think the minimum level for master level locksmithing is like 18th. For a while, people were using a glitch or exploit involving dog meat and having him sort of clip the weapon out of the case. That obviously wasn't meant to happen, and I'm not even sure you can still do that anymore. Bethesda may have patched that up. But what I'm going to show you now is 100% completely fair and part of the game. And you can do it as early as you think you can make it to a location just past Diamond City. I'm already on my second playthrough because of a bad glitch I ran into where I lost all my character saves. I made a video about that if you want to check it out and make sure that never happens to you. But anyway, I was able to get my hands on the Cryolator fairly early in my replay, and here's how it's done. It involves a specific companion that you can recruit named Kate. She's a master locksmith among other talents she has. Not all of them, but some companions have certain specialty skills. For example, Nick Valentine can hack terminals for you. I don't think Piper has a specialty, but in the case of Kate, you can ask her to open locks and she'll get it done. Here's a little snippet from episode 10 where I talk about her and where to find her. Get that wicked stealth weapon. Before we do all that though, I did run into a new companion at uh, one of the locations where one of the uh, Picket Fences magazines was located. Her name is Kate, and uh, I think she was at the combat zone. You basically clear the place out of some raiders, and then the cage manager asks you to take Kate off his hands because uh, she's a drug addict. I went ahead and did that for the fun of it, and she actually turned out to be exactly what I wanted in a Fallout 4 companion. She's probably the stealthiest companion, except for, you know, maybe Deacon or something, and hasn't blown my cover so far. Best of all, she can pick locks. A couple episodes back, I mentioned that I was waiting to uh, pick up the locksmith perk until uh, later in the game. Here, let me stop this rotation. It's making me dizzy. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, so where was I? Um, yeah, a couple episodes back, I mentioned that I was waiting to pick up the locksmith perk until later in the game. Now I'm not even sure I need to waste a perk on it at all. I don't get the XP for the lock when she picks it, but uh, so what, you know? A saved perk is much more valuable. She's also got a 10 perception and a 10 agility. That means she's a fantastic sniper. When approaching the uh, water treatment plant to get one of the uh, Picket Fences magazines, I basically stationed her on a cliff nearby, and she took out half the super mutants before I can get down there to finish the job. Plus, she's got a really cool accent. Uh, Irish, I think? I don't know, maybe Welsh? But it's cute, and she says funny things along the way. So uh, let, let's go find her and say hello. She's roaming around here somewhere. By the way, I had to <laughs> I had to fence off my own bed because Sheffield kept sleeping in it. So I put a bed over here for him. He's got his own bed. But yeah, here's Kate. So uh, let's say hello. Hey. Point out what you need and I'll get right on it. <clears throat> what do you need, darling? <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. So, um, yeah, I, I basically I gave her a military beret to boost her accuracy even more and a suppressed sniper rifle. I have to feed her ammo and lock picks once in a while, but that's definitely worth the assist. Your thoughts? If it's fun you're looking for, you found the woman of your dreams. <laughs> Hilarious. So, uh, yeah, she'll be coming along with us for the next few missions. Oh, and if anyone dislikes the fact that she was a drug addict, you can actually cure her of that. Uh, she wants to go straight, actually. All you have to do is wait until she asks you to take her to Vault 95 and do that mission. Oh, come on. Say something. <laughs> Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. We're together. That's all I care about. Everything else doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Okay, so once you've acquired her as a companion, you can take her directly back to Vault 111 and ask her to open the Crylator case. Let me know if you want me to help with that lock. Or any lock for that matter. Getting into places I'm not wanted is a talent I've acquired over the years. Hey. Point out what you need and I'll get right on it. You do have to supply her with lock picks, and each attempt she makes at opening a lock expends one to four bobby pins. If she can't get it open after four tries, she'll give up, but you just ask her to try again and she'll go at it with another four more. As you can see here, I gave her 15 bobby pins, so I'll give her one more so she'll be able to go at it and even four tries. It usually doesn't take that many, though. 
When testing it out right before I hit the record button, it took her three tries. Let's see how many it takes her this time. Hey. What you need? Go check that out. Will do. This one might be rough. Don't get your hopes up. Damn! This lock's pissing me off. Shite! Almost had it that time. Damn, what the hell's wrong with me? That was easy. How about a challenge next time? Awesome! It only took her one try this time. And there you go. This bad boy is now yours. I could have gotten it much earlier if I would thought about it. It didn't dawn on me until I ran into a master safe somewhere else in the Commonwealth and she actually picked it. So if I ever come back and do another new playthrough, I could probably get the cry later within the first few levels actually. Just come out of the vault, get dog meat, skip Concord for the time being, and check out my How to Get to Diamond City early in the game video, and you probably won't have to do any fighting. And once you get to Diamond City, buy a better weapon that can get you through a wave of raiders, and then you're all set to meet Kate at the combat zone, which is just east of Diamond City. In fact, talk to enough guards in Diamond City and it'll get marked on your map. Alright, ready to see some footage of the Crylator in action? Let's take a look. Now some of this footage is from a little later in the game. I was hesitant to use up the Crylator ammo because I didn't think I could replace it. But then I discovered that Arturo actually sells cryo cells at his shop in Diamond City. A few other select vendors may sell them too. They're not cheap, but she won't be left high and dry like the uh, Alien Blaster. I know that weapon can be modded to take fusion cells, but you have to spend like four ranks in the science perk, and that doesn't always work out if you have a low int for the Idiot Savant path. But the Crylator is good to go. So, I hope this helped you guys out. Throw a like on the video and share it around. And if you haven't checked out my Fallout 4 trivia walkthroughs yet, they're a lot of fun. I'll leave links for that playlist and other Fallout 4 playlists in the description in the iCard above. I'm now on Twitter too, so check me out there as well. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming! Hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops and grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. Bingo.